What's up, old friends? 9.35 p.m. Central Time, Duluth, Minnesota. You can see the aerial lift bridge up 135 feet. Now, I've waited for this ship all day. It is an ocean-going vessel called the Federal Yakina. It's on its way in. Porter Registry is the Marshall Islands. I'll tell you where that is in one moment. But you can see it in the distance right there, right there in the center portion of the screen. Well, let me get you quickly caught up before it comes inbound. Here it is right here, Federal Yukina, doing just under eight knots on its way in to the aerial lift bridge. That's where we are at right here. It's gonna go through the Harbor Basin under the Blotnick Bridge, and it's gonna go over to CN to load iron ore pellets. Well, boat friends, I'm gonna walk down next to the pier here in one moment so we can get a good look at the ship, but take a look at the flags on the right portion of your screen. 13 mile per hour wind out of the northeast, 56 degrees, give you a quick peek at the parking lot over here and the lake walk and the skyline. Got some guys on scooters over there. Well, let's walk down and get a good look at this vessel coming in through the piers. Now here comes this huge ship through the piers. It was in Bay Como, had a load that it came from overseas and it's made its way here to Duluth, Minnesota. It's coming in to load iron ore pellets. You know, you really don't hear about that too often. A salty that's coming in. A salty is an ocean going vessel that comes through Great Lakes here, makes it to a port like Duluth. I'm gonna pass along some facts about this huge vessel, Federal Yukina, 655 feet in length, built in 2010 at Oshima Shipbuilding Company. And that's based in Japan. Cargo capacity is 20,000 tons, one diesel engine, pushing out about 10,000 horsepower. It's owned by a Japanese company, but it's under charter to FedNav. Porter Registry is the Marshall Islands. So this is your uh, little Jeopardy fact that you can use in the future. If you don't know where the Marshall Islands is located, 2,300 miles southwest of Hawaii in the Pacific Ocean. So there you go, there's your trivia fact. Use that maybe in the future, you might uh, win some points with somebody. But uh, again, Federal Yukina, great looking vessel. As it gets closer, you're going to really start seeing the characteristics of an ocean going ship. It's going to be sitting high up out of the water. I'll let you know, I was listening to Marine Radio earlier today and I actually heard that they needed to bring the pilot out to this uh, vessel to navigate it in. And that was maybe about two, three hours ago. So I'm happy to finally see this vessel. I've been waiting to see it. Powerful looking ship, no doubt, as it gets closer, you're going to notice that. Now you can really see that bow. Take a look at the cranes on deck. You can see the Federal Yukina. Right there on the side of the bow. Take a look at that red light from the channel marker bouncing off the hull of the vessel. You can see some scrapes, some scratches. We do see some crew members at the top of the bow, if you look. Right below that light there, look at them waving. Look at the crane. Wow. Take a look at that anchor right there. See the water coming off. That's a cleaning process. Take a look at those crew members. Look at this ship, 101.6. Now what was funny is if you heard that initial horn, that was actually a person that was bridged that had a train horn installed on their vehicle. You can go back and listen to that, pretty interesting. Look at this huge ship. Look at the flying bridge up on the top. Communication equipment, safety first you can see. Let's get a good glimpse of it going under the bridge. I'm gonna stick with it so we can watch the pivot. But take a look at that. Look at those cranes on deck. You can see the scuffs. A lot of work has been done with this vessel. Take a better look at the stern. Look at that stack right there. There's the FedNav company loco. You can see the, and actually you hear that horn in the background. That's again, a personal vehicle. You definitely can hear that no matter where that's at. Look at that lifeboat. Look at their rudder. 
Now let's stick with it for a moment and we are going to watch this pivot together. Take a look at that pivot now. We have a guest appearance by the Kentucky and the North Carolina Tugs. Look at that great looking vessel. I'm keeping that uh, building in the background so you can really see that from a contrast standpoint. And notice the aerial lift bridge is coming down from 135 feet as we watch that pivot. What an awesome vessel. What an awesome vessel. Well, it's heading over to load iron ore pellets. Well, boat friends, as you know, I appreciate you always watching the videos. We've got another salty in the book. I'll be out here with the next vessel if you're interested in additional videos. Here's a few to choose from.